the Vickers. I called last week about a lighting installation. Uh-huh. Yeah, your men were supposed to be here between the hours of 8 and 10. It is now 10.30. 11.30. No, that's not good. I specifically arranged my schedule to be here at 10 o'clock. I assumed that you would have someone here at that designated time. I don't care if you're busy. So am I. Well, if you can't accommodate me, then you might as well turn around and go back because I'm not going to be here. Next week is unacceptable. Now, don't be sorry. Be on time. Damn it. <sighs> Tell me this is not you. What's not me? This ad. What about it? Wanted. One male, 30 to 40, must be reliable, organized, and able to perform all household chores from plumbing to dishwashing. Performance of intimate, husbandly duties will also be required on an as-needed basis. Long-term relationships are neither required nor desired, but applicant must be mature, attractive, and well-endowed. Some long hours should be expected, but pay is excellent. If interested, call Linda. Then it gives your number. That's how I knew it was you. So? Don't you know how this sounds? It sounds like you want to have someone come over here and do everything. I do. You do? Yes. I mean... I know how it sounds, and I know that I need to be careful, but the more I've thought about it, the more I'm convinced this is exactly what I need. Need what? To rent a husband. <laughs> Linda, you have gone over the edge. For a woman as successful and as attractive as you, you have gone right over the edge. I don't think so. Well, I do. Look, I know you just got divorced six months ago, and I'm sure you're feeling a little uncertain about what's going to happen, but... You're still an attractive woman. You're going to find the right man soon. Just give yourself some time. Julie, you don't understand. First of all, this uh, whole divorce thing, it's not a big deal. Not anymore. I've been through it three times. Three times. What that tells me is that marriage is not for me. Some women may need it. I certainly do not. I have my career to look after. I make more money in a month than most men make in an entire year. I certainly don't need anyone for financial support, and I'm certainly not going to stroke the ego of some underachieving male once he realizes that. So, you need to find a rich man? No, I do not. Mm -mm. We would be competing all the time, and he would always tell me how good of a job he's doing, and how much money he's making, and how smart he is, and how good of a job he's doing, always trying to one-up me, and I can't have that. So then, what's the point? What point? Of this ad. What would possess you to place an ad like this in the paper? Readers are generally more educated. That, that's not what I mean. <sighs> because I need to have someone to count on to do things around the house. A maid? No, not a maid. I need a man. Someone that can mow the lawn, fix leaks, cook meals, do laundry. You know what I mean. Fixing leaks, mowing the lawn, and all that is fine. I get it. But what about... Intimate husbandly duties and uh, must be well endowed. Well? Well what? Well, I want that too. Want well, what? Sex? Yes, I am a human being just like everyone else. I have physical needs and just because I'm single doesn't mean I've lost my libido. I'm sure you're going to have plenty of opportunities. All you have to do is get out of the house every once in a while. There's more to life besides your job, you know? Go out and see what's out there. Ugh, see, I, that's the thing. I don't want to go out on the prowl. I don't want to go to some bar and hope that some guy's going to buy me a drink, pick me up, and screw me back in his hotel room. I don't like that. It's bullshit. And then I have to hear, oh, I love your hair. Oh, you're so funny. Oh, you have such lovely eyes. So deep. Great personality. Oh, can't stand it. I know what you mean. Believe me, I, I do. There are times when I have to do it myself, and uh, sometimes I feel like I'm on sale, but how else do you meet a man and find a meaningful relationship? So you know why I put the ad in the paper then? I do? Yes. Oh, except for that I'm not looking for a relationship. You're not? Nope. Just someone to do things around the house and uh, have sex with every now and then. Sex every now and then? Yes. Is that so bizarre? If I want to have sex, I don't want to search the city streets for someone that measures up. I want someone, I say, let's have at it, he obeys. 
A husband for hire? Exactly. Maybe you should call him the contractual cock. You've lost it. What about a relationship? Mm -mm. No, not for me. Like I said and like I put in the ad, I just want someone that'll do stuff around the house that I can't nor want to get to and have sex with if and when I want. Linda, I'm not an expert or anything, but I don't know about this. Okay, first of all, you're going to get all sorts of loonies coming through your door. And secondly, why would you want to have sex without a relationship? It never is any good for me. I really don't enjoy it when it's that way. To me, sex is purely physical. You just get it hard, lick it, stroke it, stick it in, bang away, and then you get to get back to work. <laughs> and then back to work? It sounds like your priorities are a little mixed up, don't you think? Oh, I don't think so. I've really thought about this a lot, and I am a good judge of character, especially men. How many times have you been divorced? <laughs> Funny. Well, let's just say I'm wiser from the experience. I'd love to see the cast of candidates you get on this one. What do they put on their resume? And they should stick around. The first appointment should be here, ooh, actually very soon. If he's even a minute late, I'm going to tell him to turn around and go home. Well, you know, he may have to clear it with his parole officer. What if he's married? Oh, I didn't think of that. Probably... Probably won't work. Not enough to go around. <laughs> Though if he does perform well, then... Oh, right on time. Want me to leave? No, stick around. You might learn something. Come in. Hello. Looking for a Miss Linda Vickers? That is me. You must be Peter. Appropriate name. This is my neighbor, Julie. Nice to meet you, Julie. Likewise. Let's go ahead and get started. Milk, water, scotch. No, thank you. All right, so Peter, I'm not gonna be around the bush. I'm a very busy and demanding woman, and I need someone that can do everything around the house that I can't get to. Everything. Uh, do the laundry, take out the garbage, make coffee, install lights, put up decorations, rearrange furniture, make my appointments, the works. What is your experience? Well, for the past five years, I was the personal affairs controller for a Barry Mandrus. The singer? Yes. Took care of everything in his personal state. Everything from um, making coffee to installing an intercom system, uh, waking him up in the morning and taking care of his dog. I have a degree in mechanical engineering from Columbia. And prior to that, I was an auto mechanic. So I'm fairly confident I can do everything that you need done. Is Barry gay? I do not get involved in personal issues. Perfect. Um, you did say everything. Yes. So far from what you mentioned, I should have no problem. Oh. You read the ad? Yes, of course. Do you have any questions? I think it's pretty clear. Tell me, just to be sure. I'd be glad to. In addition to everything you just mentioned, uh, pardon me if I'm being crude here, but I just want to be perfectly clear. You're looking for somebody to fuck when you want to. Is that right? That's hitting the nail on the head. Yes. And you don't want any relationship with this person? Exactly. And I can show you the endowment requirement? That won't be necessary. Oh, Linda, that's the fun part. Julie, behave. Peter, are you married? If you don't mind my asking. Divorced. Twice. That is good. I've actually been down that road myself, and that is all I'm going to tell you about my personal life. I was very serious about not wanting any sex, but that will lead into anything more than purely the physical act. Is that clear? That's clear. I do not want any questions about what I do, where I've been, who my friends are, who my family is. All of those questions are inappropriate for this assignment. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Further, I do not want I do not want to know anything about your personal life. All I expect is that you would do the job exactly as I prescribe it and be ready when I call for those other services which may require you to work some off hours, but it shouldn't take too long, though I do hope that you are not a minute man. He looks like he can go on for hours. Julie! You're going to have to excuse my friend. This is all very new to her. It's cool. 
quarter eight. Mm -hmm. You will have your specified days off. I will try not to bother you during inappropriate hours. Do you have any questions? Salary? Oh, yes, of course. Will that work to start out with? Yes, that's fine. Great. We'll review your performance in six months and see if we can do a little bit better. Um, do we have a deal? We do. Great. Be here at 6 a.m. sharp. I like a full breakfast.